In this video I want to show you how to transfer a domain name from rvix.com to godaddy.com. So we're switching registrars and over here at Arvix, the first thing to do is to log in. And I'm going to be showing you an example where I've already done the switching but the steps are the same. So don't mind the fact that there's no domain listed right here. Go to this My Domains tab. You're going to have your domain and this little settings drop down. Go to registry, or Registrar Lock Status and make sure it says Disabled here. It probably won't if you've never done this. So click Disable Registrar Lock to get that. Then the next thing to do is go to My Domains and we need an EPP code to prove that we own the domain. This is probably the trickiest part because no one really explains this. You've got to search around it. There's an active button next to your domain. If you click that, it's going to pop up something with some links in this little spot here and you go to get EPP code from there. So click status, then get EPP code. And If your domain still at Arvix, they're going to say, okay, we sent you an email with your EPP code and you should have that within a couple hours. So after you've done both those steps, go to dom uh, godaddy.com and click all products. Go down to domain services and do domain transfer and make sure you're already logged in. If you're not, log in first and then go to domain transfer and type in the domain that you want to send over I'll try that one that I've already sent I guess that's not going to be available unavailable so I'm going to try one domain that I have that I haven't sent over and click go for that and it says it's available for transfer and it's already checked and then you can proceed to check out I won't show you those steps, but it's basically you've got to pay GoDaddy as the new registrar, so they want your credit card information and so on for that $7.99 uh, with free one-year extension. So once you've done that, you should be expecting a few emails because uh, you, you've told Arvix, uh, give me the code, and you've told GoDaddy, be ready and get this domain. So I'm going to show you some emails that I got when I did this. Here's one from Arvix. It's got the EPP transfer authorization key. Here's the key down here. And you have to take that key and give it to GoDaddy uh, to prove that you can do this transfer and that you're really the owner. Here's another email I got from Arvix. It says, we've received a request from GoDaddy saying they want this name, uh, this domain name. So don't do anything if that's fine, but if you want to stop this from happening, you've got to click this link. So if you change your mind for some reason, don't miss this email and click that link to stop the approval. But if you're ready to go and you want to switch over to GoDaddy, just wait, wait it out. Uh, they put a date in here, February 13th, and this email was sent on the 8th, so it's uh, five days or so before that change will be made. Now, I got another email from GoDaddy saying... There's something important. Um, they sent the approval request to Arvix, and it's for this domain. Okay, that's great. And one more email from GoDaddy saying you've got to do some initial authorization. This is about that EPP code. So it tells you where to log in and the instructions to follow. And you're going to use this transaction ID and the security code, and then add your EPP code. So it's all pretty straightforward with GoDaddy. Then finally, after the 13th, or whatever your date is, they're going to send something to say, hey, your transfer finally went through, it's all done. Now, something to be aware of is if you haven't set up your name servers to point away from Arvix or point to your correct server, then after the switch, uh, GoDaddy's still going to use the same name servers. So, like, if you were canceling your account at Arvix and your server was on Arvix, you're going to end up uh, pointing to name servers that aren't serving your site anymore. So you need to set up a server somewhere before you do this, or assuming that you are canceling your Arvix service completely. If not, that's cool. But you can go to Arvix and change your name servers to point to any host uh, before, before and during this transfer. So once the domain is transferred, it's completely seamless, and you don't even know what's happened until you get this email. I do have another tutorial that explains how to do that if it sounds confusing. So it's just how to transfer name servers uh, from Arvix to point somewhere else. So check it out if you need to. I hope this was helpful. Uh, 
the process was a little bit confusing the first time I went through it, so hopefully it won't be so confusing uh, for you guys. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.